we've, we've sort of dug ourselves in a hole here because of the, uh, it seems that the majority of the committee uh, adopted language saying that, uh, that this building will remain open in both reality and perception and that, that basically closes the door on any discussion I think for magnetometers or x-rays in this building. Um, I mean, you can put them in at a later time, and I understand that that's your intent to, if this committee or the legislature were to decide that at a later time, but right now, you know, the buildings, I would imagine, are, are, are <coughs> that there's, I can't imagine anyone dealing with public safety wouldn't say there's a risk here. You know, we, we asked the department, I, I remember asking the commissioner to come back for, with recommendations. We get four little recommendations and, you know, you guys decide what to do. I mean, I'm fine having discussion about it, but you'd think you'd get a little bit of leadership from the department saying, this is what we recommend based on all the information before us. And then let us make the political decision to, to make recommendations to the legislature. The report is a report to this committee. The recommendations that we put in here were the recommendations that came from the committee and not from the Department of Public Safety. And Chair, you provided, uh, you provided for recommendations, status quo, you, and you listed them. I can get them out of my file, but there were four recommendations that, that for us to decide, leave it, everything as it is, uh, all the way to having magnetometers at, at, at different entrances of the, of the Capitol complex or the Capitol building, I should say. So you did provide recommendations um, and, and, and put them on the table here. We chose not to adopt any of them. This is a 10-year work in progress by the legislature. Uh, what goes on this year uh, can be changed. Absolutely. It can be changed next year, two years from now, three years from now. But this gives you at least a start of a road map. Uh, so um, it's quite clear to me that we should move forward here with these recommendations. By not addressing um, the issue of firearms, the report in toto uh, falls short. And if it is included, then it also falls short. If we don't adopt the language in five and section one, the recommendation, however, it remains unclear and inconsistent. Um, so it may fall short, but it falls significantly shorter if we don't adopt that language. 